The topic of this video is building quadratic models from verbal descriptions, geometric models. This is a continuation of the previous video. All right, we now move on to parts B and C. For what value of W is the area largest? What is the maximum area? In part A, we found that A of W equals negative W squared plus 140 W. As we move on to parts B and C, we might find it helpful to rewrite this in function notation using X as our variable. Notice what I've done here. A of W is a lot like F of X. Each W becomes an X, so that over here each W would become an X. And now we have our same algebraic statement using X's and F, or if you prefer to think of it that way, X's and Y's, since F of X is a Y, it's an output. From this, we are able to do two, something, uh, two things that are both very important. Whenever you see a problem and it uses an extreme word like largest or maximum, the first thing you need to do is think to yourself, is this quadratic? Because if it is, then the vertex will help you find the minimum or the maximum. So is this quadratic? Is negative x squared plus 140x quadratic? The answer is yes. It matches the form of a quadratic expression. In fact, by writing these things side by side, it's easy for us to determine our coefficients. A is equal to negative 1 b is equal to 140, c is equal to 0. Now, when you're looking for a vertex and you know a, b, and c, all you have to do is plug into your vertex formula. So the vertex formula is opposite b over 2a, comma, c subtract b squared over 4a. Let's plug into the formula and see what we get. So negative 140 over 2 times negative 1, there's your x-coordinate, and then 0 subtract 140 squared over 4 times negative 1. All right, so uh, at the top is negative 140, at the bottom is negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 140 divided by 2 is 70. Over here for the y-coordinate, we're going to remember a piece of advice from a different video which said that you should do the fraction before the subtraction. Completely ignore this subtraction sign until you have a value for this fraction. All right, so 140 squared, put that on a calculator, 19,600. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. All right, again, I'm ignoring this subtraction and just focusing on the fraction. So a positive divided by a negative is a negative, and 19,600 divided by 4 is 4,900. Subtracting a negative is adding, so this becomes 0 plus 4,900, and that's just 4,900. So we get 70 comma, 4,900 for our vertex. Now all we have to do is interpret those two coordinates and uh, see what that tells us as far as the answer to this question. To do that, I would like to call your attention to what we did over here. Over here, we uh, wrote two different versions of the same equation, and by doing so, we found that x and w were the same thing, and f of x is the same as y, we found that a and y are actually the same thing. So for this particular instance, our vertex is an x and a y, but in this problem, x represents w, which is the width, and y represents a, which is the area. With this information, now we can answer both questions. Part b, for what value of w is the area largest? w is 70, 70 yards. And part C, what is the maximum area? Area is 4,900 square yards. And with that, we've completed this problem.